So it's interesting. It looks like he's, they're turning the weapon sideways to look over it so they, the optic doesn't ob obstruct them. So it's good use of sticking close to the side of the walls without being on it. Good use of working the shadows. You see him working objects to his dead space for him to move fast behind. Comms in this particular situation would be very interesting. All that rebar, all that cement, you're not getting comms to the outside unless you have an external link. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Reeves, Navy SEAL, and today on Experts React, we're gonna be checking out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which I think is actually helped develop by a good buddy of mine, another Navy SEAL, Miguel Vega. So I'm really looking forward to see what he put together. Let's dive in and check it out. Great mission. You wanna, you wanna screw with a community? You wanna screw with an entity? Bad look right there, that is outstanding. Go ahead and mess with their water supply, that'll do a good thing. Love the face mask. A little base jumping, all right. No Probably wouldn't have done that. That's a long slide on cement to cut away a parachute. Probably would have landed on the deck. Sniper down. Not sure why the sniper's in a gila suit on a cement structure like that, but all right, looks cool. Great little thermal there, giving us a ranging and a degree angle for a shot we need. Very cool. Thermals is an amazing asset. We uh, actually did a lot of work with Thermal and that. Figure out ways to try to beat it. Good luck. It is quite, quite difficult, if possible at all. So it's a great tool to have. So it's interesting, when you shoot through glass, you actually have to, it changes the angle once it penetrates and that takes some practice. And uh, in that particular angle actually goes down. You shoot into it, it goes down. The whole parachute thing I'm a little skeptical of, but it works for the, it's for the game, so okay. Not really accurate. Yeah, so far the only thing I'm not digging is the use of the parachute. Everything else I'm, I'm liking so far. Shooting the weapon sideways, don't understand the purpose of that. Coming around a corner, very good. Two targets, very nice. Good effective use of angles, good effective use of cover. If you're coming around a corner, again, this weapon sideways thing is unique. So it's interesting. It looks like he's, they're turning the weapon sideways to look over it so that the optic doesn't ob obstruct them, which I'd like to learn more about that because simply if you just lower the optic down, just and look over the top of it, it's a very simple movement to bring it right back up in your field of view, which I'm not, which seems much more adept than putting the weapon sideways. So it's good use of sticking close to the side of the walls without being on it. Good use of working the shadows. You see him working objects to his dead space for him to move fast behind. He's pretty exposed in that area with all that space. Definitely we need to be getting out of there. Those motorized turrets are effective. So lining up two for one for a one shot will sometimes work. Definitely depends upon the, the headgear that the first guy is wearing. But I wouldn't always bank on that. But it is, it does look cool. Great use of, uh, of objects around him, concealing himself, moving fast, good steady hand. There is some truth in you have three guys, one trigger, you definitely have to make it effective so that somebody doesn't get away, it's an alert. But again, three people with one, that's pretty good. And then moving to the secondary, Again, not sure what that's about. I like the environment. The bridge setup is a, is a great setting for it all. I mean, truly all we saw was a guy going around, taking one shot at a time, engaging bad guys that were just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Didn't seem very challenging. My only drawbacks, I think, things against that would be the use of the parachute in the beginning. Like he had it, then he cut it away, then he had another one, then he cut it away, then he had it, and just going from a box to the ground. That's unrealistic. And also the use of lining up like the, I'll call them like the Deadpool shots, right? Like one round taking out two to three guys. Can it happen? Yeah. Will it happen all the time like that? No. Especially if they're wearing body armor, like ballistic helmets, stuff like that. You may get one guy, but not another. And that's considering if, it, you know, depending which way you hit the guy with the ballistic helmet on. I think there's a lot of potential for that. I guess I was just uh, expecting and hoping for more coming out of the gameplay with that. And I apologize, I, I thought the uh, the Hilo was against him, not in support of him, the gunship. I'm actually kind of curious if, if all it was was just to, to take out individuals one at a time like that, why wouldn't you, I mean, there's, there's definitely angles you'd have to get down and into to be able to get every single one of them. 
But a lot of that could have been done sitting high in a position with full view of the dam and just sniping dudes rather than running around and getting close quarters to them. So if you have the ability to have standoff to it, and you could, sure, but that would be, that would be even less dramatic than what we saw. Great setup, great uh, great setting for it all. They would have been neat. It, I mean, again, I, I say this, but I don't know all that goes into developing a game of this magnitude. I know it takes millions of dollars and, and potentially years to create. It would have been cool to see something go in from the water aspect. Like if a submersible came up the river into and then had to get dropped off and then come up from the water and be able to take something out, that would have been pretty cool. And it's, a, it's something we don't ever really seen before. I can see this as a, as a transitional piece. Let's put it that way. But I'd be fine with that. I mean, we, we kind of just saw one guy going around and just taking a bunch of sniping kind of shots. I think my only drawbacks to it were the, the, the use of the parachute. Like he had a parachute, then he cut it away, then he had it again, then he cut it away. And he's to go, and some of those things you would, you would not do. Like you would not cut it away and then slide down a dam. That would be, I mean, you could see yourself propelling down it or just making your way a different way down it, but to use a parachute for that, not so much. Again, cool factor for the video game, but realistically in the real world now. But pretty much overall, I'm, a, I'm actually one uh, curious as why would you not, if this is a real world job like that and I were to be the officer in charge of uh, executing the mission, I'd probably have, if at the minimum was, a, would, I would send anybody on this would be like a two man team. You have one guy high in sniper position covering overwatch, taking out dudes with a long shot, and you can have a guy on the ground like that just running through and cleaning up, going up, because you have to have somebody next to the, um, to the bombs to defuse them, to hack them, to, to make sure they don't blow. To disarm them, there's a word. Do you got to make somebody? Got to send somebody in to disarm them. Uh, but it's an interesting one. It's, um, I guess, part of me is kind of hoping for a little bit more out of that because it is such a unique setting. If this is the the transition from one part of the story to the next, I get it. Neat though. I like I like the different setup. That's you know, different scenarios, different environments are always challenging and neat to see. So I think that I like that about it. Smoking, Johnny. Blend it in, LT. Interesting. If I was blending in, I don't know if I would go up to somebody because. Now somebody can ID you because you physically made contact, you've been memorable to someone. Probably would have asked the waitress at the coffee shop for it versus going up to another guy. Doggy, yeah, she's cautious. She's in over her head with Makarov. Mark's moving, keep on her. That's a difficult task. Nobody's around her, but get close to listen to a private phone conversation. Get close and listen Unless you've got electronics of some kind, that can be very difficult. And stay out of her eyesight. Yeah, that's the you want to you want to really confuse somebody. Go in one ex entrance, come out a different exit, and come out with a bunch of people. You know, with uh, different type of intelligence gathering things we have these days, there is none better than human intelligence. Signets only so good. Other options are only so good, but humans on the ground. Ooh. A little bit of use of some smoke screen there. We would have really been effective as a concussion grenade or a flashbang. Throw that deep and with all those walls in the ceiling, that would have really resonated and put them down. Nice. Good mag changes. Oh, stand right in the middle, though. That's not going to do any good. You got to find the cover. I mean, real world, you would have been dead. So using a shotgun close range like that to be multiple rounds on that is a waste of is a waste of uh, ammunition, which you can't afford to. So this is kind of the gameplay that I isn't realistic. Uh, I mean, in the sense of like if this is a real world, just running around in the open like this is, is not going to do it. There's got to be some tactics. There's got to be use of concealed conceal. Uh, got to be use of uh, cover and concealment. I mean, you see guys taking multiple shots and keeping on pressing on. That's that's not realistic. It's fun for video games. Dude kneeling in the middle of that, where are these shots coming in? No. If guys running in when there's a grenade about to go off, I'd be taking cover. Shooting and such with an automatic pistol. You're just wasting rounds. There you go. The never ending magazine supply. It's an effective gun that he has with the shotgun, like, effective. You know, for some of these long shots he's taken, the, the rounds that he's using, unless it's slug, it's not going to be effective. Because those are some long range, your, your uh, rounds will disperse too far, you're not going to be that effective. If it's past 25 yards, it's not going to be as effective. Like we see these guys flying off their feet, burning through 9mm rounds. You got so many dead guys around there, why don't you pick up another primary of some kind and utilize that and save your ammo, save your secondary ammo. RPG? Nice. That's scary. That hacker was good. Comms in this particular situation would be very interesting. All that rebar, all that cement. 
you're not getting comms to the outside unless you have an external link somehow through that or a relay. But even then, that would be exceedingly challenging. Great. I love that. Try to stay stealth and silent as you can. Outstanding. This reminds me of the internal of a ship. Lots of nooks and crannies, places for people to hide that you've got to be cognizant of. Your head has got to be on a swivel and you've got to be looking at every angle. So you've got a 9mm round, subsonic round, so your range is going to be limited. But 100 yards or less, you should be good. Nice. Good work. Concussion grenade, stun them, use of a cover, coming in, taking them out. I mean, where's your team behind you to take out those guys? Fantastic use of cover right there, a big cement barrier, and you're the only one? You're mag dumping pretty hard with that. You're gonna be going through some mags. Good use of frag, nice. It's important, once you gain ground in a situation like this, you try your best not to give it up. If you need to retreat to then make a to make a better dynamic move, absolutely. But every inch of, of uh, landscape that you gain, you try to hold on to. Lots going on, lots to think about, and it is just like that real world where you've got multiple things that are happening at once. Each does each require your your attention, and you've got to prioritize what's happening. And in a case like that, when you have multiple people around in the team that they're all prioritizing and doing their job to make the collective whole come together. I love the graphics. The graphics are really have come along many of your games. It's really neat. I love the scenario in the channel where it's, my gosh, if those if those three canisters went off, the brazons that would have happened with that kind of explosion in a tuned area such as that tunnel would have been massive. The tactics, the, the first person shooter did, most for the majority of the part did well, but overall, that was a fun game. I really liked that. If you want to check out more action-packed videos such as this, come check out Experts React on Facebook and YouTube. And if you want to look up more of me, please check out Official Jeff Reeves on Instagram.